but, but if we follow that line of reasoning, then um, every mass criminal should probably go free because um, every government, every state has at one time or another in history on both sides of any conflict done terrible things. Is that what you're saying? We, because of that, we should exonerate everybody, even the Nazis? No, no. We should have not to exonerate somebody. We have to condemn all of them. But, but, but that will never happen. So, so, so what are you saying? But otherwise, otherwise, the justice is the justice of the winners. And I, I am against the justice of winners. The justice must be the same for the winners and for the losers. And after a war, we have to condemn the criminal among the victorious forces as among the defeated forces. But, but the conclusion is still the same. You, in the case of Barbie, you went before the French court, and even though there was proof that Barbie, a Nazi, deported people to their deaths, tortured people, um, you said he should go free because there were French criminals who did the same thing who were never punished. That was your defense. Yes. Yes, of course. With that, though, we would never, ever condemn any political or mass criminal of anything. But I prefer that we condemn no criminal instead of co condemning only the criminal among our enemies and no, not among our friends. Because that means nothing at this moment.